What's the crack streets away here and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be making a text pan. So recently I've been looking on emulsive.com and they turned a Fuji GW690 into a panoramic 35mm shooting camera. So basically what that is guys is this is the Fuji. It's pretty big. That's why they call it a Texas Leica. It looks like a really big Leica. And this is a six by nine medium format camera and I'm gonna be turning it into a panoramic 35 millimeter. I'm gonna be making it here first and then we're gonna go outside and shoot. So we're gonna shoot on Ektar 100 today. It's a beautiful sunny day in Chinatown. If you look out the window, it's a bright winter's day. So we should get some good panoramics. So first, let's make the camera. Okay, first off, things we will need before we begin. You'll need your camera, of course. Uh, of course, you can use any of the uh, GW690 cameras. This happens to be the GW693, but one and two are fine too. Uh, you need your 35 millimeter film. You're gonna need um, 135 to 120 adapters. These will stick on either side of this and a take-up reel um, for your 35 millimeter film. I have this. <clears throat> this is optional, but it will guide the uh, 35 millimeter um, mm -hmm. film along the back of the camera. Some electrical tape, scissors, and some normal solid tape. <clears throat> so first off, what I will do is I'll turn over the camera, and this is the normal size of the six by nine, 120 negative, and I'll place mm -hmm. in this guide. Uh, this should be the actual size of the panoramic that we will get. So, first thing I will do, guys, I've done this already. I want you to cut off the small leader on this. <clears throat> so cut it off as mm -hmm. tight as you can to get the as much film as we can out of this. So you want to just cut that flush. And then the first thing I'm going to do is tape the leader to... 35 millimeter here so I'll take some sellotape that I already cut off and try to get it as even as possible of course again with me lads I'm a very uh, fuck it it will do kind of a lad so it's never gonna be perfect you can spend more time in it if you like but I think we're gonna be glad Okay, so I'm taking this leader on. And that's pretty solid there. It's pretty solid. I'll stick a bit more on just to be sure. Okay. Can't be too sure. All right. That's good. Good enough. <clears throat> okay, next thing I'll do, I'll put on the adapters. So you get two adapters like this. One will be short, one will be long. Stick the long one in. It's like all the asshole of the uh, canister. And then the short one will go on top. Okay, so you should simply slide in like this and click that in place. All right, good. And then before I put this over, we're going to actually do have to do a couple of things. First off, change the backing plate from 120 to 220. So give it a good pull. And you flip it over, and then you've got a 220 back. Okay. And second of all, so that we can have uh, the shutter counter working. The roller here for the shutter counter, it works fine with the 120 film, but it doesn't really work too good with the 35 millimeter. So what I will do is I'm gonna add a bit more of electrical tape around this. So hopefully that when I wind it, it will count it here and we should be able to uh, get stops in between our shots. So it's, it's vital. If you don't do this guys, you won't be able to wind it um, and you won't know where your shots are and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw a load of it out like that. And I'm gonna 
start here. Use guys, you can use silicone tape, PVC tape, electrical tape, and something that's not going to stick to it permanently. You know, you want to be able to take it back to a normal 120 film after you've done this. I don't think you want to be shooting panoramics all the time. Yeah, you can see how messy I do it all, but it's grand. Should it be grand? I think that's enough there. So what you're doing, you're just making it a little bit thicker so that it feels the 35 mil film and spins it with that. Okay, it's fairly thick there now. Okay, good. Okay, so now I'm sticking in the take up reel and I will wind it a little bit. Make sure she's sitting good. Okay, now this is the test. Hopefully that that electrical tape was enough to do the job. We'll see here on the counter if she's moving. And yeah, that's a go. So I will wind it up to one. And I should stop. Yeah, stop the one. Awesome. Guys, what we're going to do now as well is change it to 16 exposure 220 because we should be getting more we will be getting more than eight shots from this because it's 135 film we will be getting i'm hoping to get like 15 panoramic shots so we're set at one and set at the 220 we got the 220 back loaded in i think we're ready to go As you can see, the streets are uh, filling up with people again. We'll be out of this uh, coronavirus pickle any day now, I'm sure of it. Um, so there's no light meter on the camera, so what I have to do is I'm gonna set up the scene, see where I wanna shoot, um, get the correct reading for the light meter, and then I will take a couple of shots. So I think my first destination is gonna be the crossroads at, uh, Shikong Lu and Tong Jijia. So we'll get up here and we'll try to get some panoramic shots on the zebra crossing. A lot more people out today. Um, so it's pretty cool. It's lovely to see the city coming back to normal. So I'm gonna stand here at these crossroads here, guys, and try to get a few shots of the zebra crossing. I'm gonna have to uh, use my light meter first to uh, get the correct exposure. I'm gonna shoot one in the shade and one in the light from the center of the road and try to get some people crossing the road, should be cool. Okay, it is post shoot. We got our film loaded up into the tank. We have our developer bleach fixer and stabilizer. And we have a temperature of 38 degrees. We're ready to rock. Guys, the moment of truth. Do we have some images? I did two rows, I think. Ooh, yeah. Beautiful long panoramas. Love it. Okay, guys, we're going to leave that hanging up to dry. As you can see, here is the normal 35 millimeter. You can see the size of the negs there. 
and then compare it to the panorama, we get much longer negatives. So we have 35 and panorama mama. <laughs> As you can see, a few more shops are opening up again on the walking street, which is great to see. So let's even get some panoramics here as well. I am um, doing street photography with panoramics is pretty tough. And especially because the viewfinder is still six by nine. I don't see the panoramic in the frame. So I just have to vision where exactly the panoramic will be and then hope for the best. But uh, hopefully we can get some nice shots along here today. big snowfall there the other day so I'm gonna try to get a few shots of the uh, the guys clearing all the snow from the streets uh, they always make for some good interest in uh, street shots watching another episode i hope you enjoyed this one and maybe you can have a go of it at home yourself if you don't have that six by nine camera you can use any medium format camera once you get the adapters for the 135 so uh, yeah it'd be worth checking out and um, slap a like if you like this video and subscribe to see more different street photography videos that i'll be doing um, I changed my name to Streets Away on Instagram to match the YouTube channel, which makes a lot more sense than having different names. So uh, yeah, be sure to look that up because you get to see a lot more photographs than I show in my videos. And uh, yeah, until next time guys, keep it street!